welcome back to another Why Kick and Moo Cow video. Um, I have another order from Steph's Pantry right here. So we're going to get into it. I have already pre cut it. Okay. So that has to do with thank you for your purchase. You're um, awesome for supporting a small business, and we hope. You love your order. Please feel free to share and tag us on Facebook and Instagram, which is pretty cute. Okay. Okay. This is new. Have some pork mince instead of chunks because it's getting closer to Christmas. There wasn't really a lot available what I wanted, so I had to make do with a few different things that I wouldn't normally use, but this is 100% pork, so it's fine. Uh, rabbit ears. These look delightful. And then we have some dear old quail chicks. Uh, previously, we have used uh, ducklings. So, I mean, I have fed whole adult quails in the past, um, but the little chicks are new. Okay. And here we have some rabbit pups. So these are one day old rabbit pups, but they look, they look kind of big. <laughs> but, um, I thought rabbits were smaller than this, but, um, yeah, again, this is new. I mean, I have fed bowels a whole rabbit in the past, but obviously these are bimba size, so bimba can have some of these as well. This is one kg of zebra. It's a very healthy meat. This is horse heart chunks, because we all know Bowser loves his horse. We have beef lung chunks and then we have some kangaroo so hopefully bows will be hopping for joy that was terrible don't kill me <laughs> um, and these are duck chunks um, I, I, um, <clears throat> I think I have used this brand before but I've never seen anything come packaging like this this will be interesting to open up and see how it's used and then we have something that is quite so, quite a debate um, so a lot of people will say um, not to feed carnivores to dogs and, you know, there's problems associated with that. But I did a lot of Googling and asking and it's very, very 50-50 on this. So half of people are like, yeah, that's a good meat to feed and it's good for this and that. It's lean, it's low in cholesterol. <laughs> How do you say it? Um it's full of the omegas and everything like that it's really lean it's a healthy meat and then on the other side there's a whole don't feed carnivores to dogs you shouldn't do it blah blah blah, blah. so this is kind of one of those meats that's a bit mm. but you know let's try it let's see how we get on with it you know we don't have to order it again in future if we have any adverse effects i don't think there would be because this is farmed so it's not you know it's kept differently because of that so here we have it, crocodile chunks. I'm sure Bowser will be very pleased to have uh, get his teeth into this. Um, and that's it, it's a very small order because it's Christmas coming up and there wasn't a lot available. I did last time order a lot of bone because bone content is one of those things that I always end up like not having enough of and I'm like, oh my God, we have no bone, what are we gonna do? Um, and that's why I've also like, to include some of these whole preys as well because obviously these have bone so there we have it we have the rabbits they're old rabbits they're old quail chicks we have the bunny ears we have the pork mince we have the beef lung we have the horse heart chunks have the zebra chunks and we have the crocodile chunks and then over here we have the duck chunks and the kangaroo so 
so yeah just a very small order this one um obviously at the end of this video we'll be doing their meal and making it all look nice and everything for them um hopefully they'll enjoy everything um i'll see you guys in my next video bye <laughs>